our next matter and our final matter of the day is Meebs. Is that how you say it? Oh, yeah, it's just an abbreviation, but yep, that Meebs works. LLC versus Cecilia Stalzer. Meebs is by Michael Mostrom. Yep. Would both of you please raise your right hand? You both swear or affirm any testimony you're about to give in this matter to prove to the best of your knowledge and belief. This is a claim for $1,000. Let me get these other two out of here. Uh, for, depends on who you ask, Mr. Mostrom claims that it is an advance on work that was to be reimbursed by services to the company. Correct. Ms. Stalzer states we were in a relationship and uh, this was a gift. There is a bunch of text messages which are very hard to discern. Um, they were hard to read the way they were scanned in and it's hard to tell who was talking to who. At any rate, uh, there's more going on here than a claim for $1,000. Um, if I understand correctly, Ms. Stalzer, you have a personal protection order against Mr. Mostrom? Correct, Your Honor. And what county is that from? That'd be Enum County. Eaton County? Enum County. Bingham, okay. So we've ended up with this lawsuit. Uh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Mostrom, why do you believe she owes you $1,000? Um, as I uh, put in the addendum, uh, back on February 9th, I issued the uh, $1,000 cash advance um, under, again, multiple pretenses that we both talked about in person and text and email and every sort of communication that she would be working that was funds off as time proceeded. Um, and I issued her the advance based on the, the understanding that it was going to help alleviate the stress that she was having with her parents at the time that they were constantly on her for not paying back her monthly student loan bills. Um, Cecilia was stressed out. I was mentally, emotionally affected. She was in tears multiple days about it. I was just trying to help in that retrospect. And the company needed the help too, as time progressed too, that I needed more hours put in on her end as well, because I couldn't do it all myself. Um, and again, she multiple times agrees throughout that time period that, that she would be doing that. And then, of course, you never did. Hell no. Before we go farther, I guess I need to take a minute and talk about what small claims court is about. Mm -hmm. This is a separate division of the 3B district court. The mm -hmm. rules are much more relaxed in small claims court. Mm -hmm. Neither part, sir, we're in a court proceeding. I'm going to ask you to put the Red Bull down. You were drinking before, but we hadn't started yet. So <laughs> pretend we're in a court hearing. Mm -hmm. People don't smoke or eat or drink while we're in the hearing um neither party's allowed to the, the irony of uh judge middleton telling him how lax the rules are and then he and then he breaks the the a few rules that they actually do have have an attorney <laughs> there's no formal record being made of the proceedings and any decision here is final either party has the right to remove the matter from the small claims division to the general division of the court you have to tell me that before we begin Mr. Mostrom, you agree with that? I do agree. Yep. And Ms. Stalzer, you agree as well? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Was she an employee of the company at that time? Yes, she was. What was her position? Um, we had her put in as administrative assistant. Her title and her email was office manager on that retrospect as well. Mm-hmm. 
I can think of other titles. Was she salaried or hourly? Hourly. And her hourly pay eighteen dollars an hour, um, which it was noted within the pay stub um, that it was an advance, and uh, it would total of fifty five point five five hours of work uh, at that rate of eighteen dollars an hour to equal that one thousand dollars. That's in the pleadings. Was yep. that supposed to be? 55.55 hours of work as overtime each week or she just wouldn't get paid for a week no in, in general just total amount of hours in general worked well how was that to be tracked um well we track based on what she was doing if she was working then it all goes into my workforce which is in quickbooks via login all right well so she worked no time after this she gets no no she return worked. Zero hours after this advance was given. All right, I didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. Or before, let's face it. Shortly thereafter, um, the next weekend, there was a issue that she had with her family um, in her hometown. And then uh, she did not come back after that point uh, to do any sort of work related activities whatsoever i'm not telling you that anything you shouldn't know this is fraught with danger yeah you don't hire your girlfriend for mm -hmm. your company give her an advance and try to launder it through the company and then when the deal goes bad then you want your money back that's very poor business practice mm -hmm. um but she says this wasn't an advance it was a gift miss stalzer what's your position uh, yes, Your Honor. He um, tried on multiple accounts um, saying that it was an advanced pay, and I have text messages showing that um, I said no, and it would be held over my head, and I would send him a check, and he said no, it is for my loans and help with stress, and he kept saying no, thank you, that he would not take the check that I tried um, telling him I would give back. And he said he, he would appreciate he appreciates the offer though. Um, this sounds like it's more of a relationship kind of thing rather than him just wanting the money. Uh, there was a domestic violence on him, um, and that was proceeding with the PPO that I currently have on him. Um, I had multiple accounts where I tried to get him to leave me alone and. Once the PPL was in place, that's when he proceeded with uh, this court. These are called small claims divorces mm -hmm. um, by the district judges. Nobody likes these. Their relationship ends and it ends up in a... I don't know. I think she makes a damn fine argument from what I've heard so far. She, she's saying she tried to pay him back and he refused it. I, I don't, I've lost all sympathy for him. You know small claims lawsuit where one party's trying to get back at the other one all right i was reviewing the the texts and as i said one they're hard to read and two it's hard to tell who's saying what um do you have a specific date that you're and they're guys that are really hard to read? Um, Ty, going to send you a check because I don't want any of that held over my head anymore. Mm -hmm. Stop. No, it was for your loans to help with the stress. So the the lighter colored is you, correct? Going to send you a check because I don't want any of that held over my head. Is that you? Yes, Your Honor, and that was on 226 of 24. All right, he says, stop, no, it was for your loans to help with the stress. Um, that's him, the, yeah. Mr. Mostrom. That is correct. Um, on that, right. on I wasn't asking you, I was asking her. So oh. then you say parents are helping. Um, no, thank you. That's him. As I said, I know you can work it off with helping me with work anyways. 
was just a loan, quote unquote, to help initially, because there we were gone giving you crap every day and that stress on you. Appreciate the offer though. Mike, I don't want it constantly on my mind. And I can't read his response. Um, Your Honor, it, his next is, it's okay. Literally was trying to help with exactly what I said. And I knew you would work it off anyways, because I definitely need your help. And then I'm sorry for bringing it up yesterday. That's on me and won't ever happen again. I promise that. And then I proceeded with, okay, I asked why um, you'd like to not do it in the first place. And he said that he understands. And then I proceeded with, because I knew it would be an issue at some point. And then he said, I get it. It's all good. What does that mean? Um, if you go a step farther, it then says, maybe you can drive me some places soon for work or get everything organized with the office stuff like I need or work on some dates. <laughs> Is that fair? And she says, okay. Well, that gives you a handle on her. She offers to pay the $1,000 back to just mm -hmm. get it over with. Mm -hmm. So, and you keep calling it a loan. Although it wasn't a loan she asked for. She didn't say, hey, will you lend me $1,000? You gave her $1,000 to help with stress. She offered to pay it back. Mm -hmm. And you said, no, you can work it off, which means you still got control over the situation. She just wants to pay it back and be done with it. And you deny the domestic violence. And I don't think there was a domestic violence charge, but there was enough that a judge in Ingham County issued a personal protection order. So after the personal protection order was issued, you'd filed this small claims for a thousand dollars. Actually, that was opposite. Um, I spoke to her mother about filing the small claim stuff, and then her mother said immediately after in one of the text messages, that's when they filed the PPO. Is that true, Ms. Stalzer? Um, Your Honor, the PPO was signed on 412 and it was served on 419. And he tried saying that I owed, and it was a formal notice on April 16th that I owed him this thousand dollars. Well, that didn't look good. This was filed on April 29th. So the PPO preceded the small claims case. All right. Um, Ms. Stalls, or anything else you want me to know? Um, Your Honor, other than that, he continued uh, to contact me and work things out relationship wise all the way up until basically March. Um, I have messages over where he's actually it was April 12th this is his last text um to me and it was just like a picture and it was a picture and he just co commented like a picture was taken over a year ago today uh, so it's just very confusing and then also he invited me to go to Florida with him um for work and I, I could just tag along and this was also all after they tried taking me or threatening me for to court All right, Mr. Mostrom, you're the plaintiff. I'll give you the last word. Anything? Yeah. Um, as I mentioned, there are six, seven, eight different times where she has basically understood that it was an advance. It was a loan to her that would be paid back. The reason why I did not accept it back at that February time frame was strictly because she didn't have the funds to do it. Um, the stress that she was having with her family was affecting her very, very much so. At the end of the day, yes, I'm a business owner. She was an employee of mine. The reason why she was an employee of mine is because she had two shoulder surgeries within a year and physically could not do other jobs. 
Uh, she didn't have time to even go and do an orientation or anything because she was in multiple surgeries. So I was, I hired her as basically an option. So she would have funds, which she did great work for months. Um, did a great job and helped me out quite a bit. Um, it was just all of a sudden towards this end time where she decided to, to step away. And as you saw in multiple messages throughout, um, attacked me verbally quite a bit as far as how it didn't matter what I said or did. She was never going to pay me back and I didn't deserve it basically at the end of the day. All right. This is a end of relationship thing. Mm -hmm. And this is a power and control and manipulation by loaning her a thousand dollars. Stop that. I said, sorry. Which gave, which gave you some power and control over her. She offered to pay it back you declined and I'm not going to be used by the court to manipulate her any further. You get zero. I find no cause for the plaintiff defendant offered to repay the money. The plaintiff declined for reasons that he would still have contact with her. She filed a personal protection order. And after the personal protection order was filed, he filed this action to collect on this nebulous poorly thought out, quote unquote, loan. I'm not going to be a part of it. Uh, you get zero. Uh, Ms. Stalzer, you're free to go on about your business. Mr. Mostrom, the PPO is still in effect. Maybe you can both move on from this, but I'm not going to be used to manipulate her any further. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Stalzer, you're free to go. Well, there you have it. Judge nails it. He's try he's just trying to manipulate her. You know, it that that's that's all it is. It it kind of put, puts me in mind of the of the Eckerd case where she tries to get him to sign a contract that that he'll go out with her. It, it's like it the relationship's broken down. You can't fix it through the court system. Ever, never. It's never once happened in the history of the world. <laughs> She's not into you. Let it go. And and you gave her a thousand dollars, but you don't, but not properly as a loan. And, and you, you, you can't expect, you can't expect to get it back under those circumstances. I, I think the right thing happened here.